This is the quilt sandwich for my upcoming patchwork pot holder. It will be an eight inch patchwork pot holder. It's uh, the pinwheel design, which is my favorite quilt design. So I cut five inch squares to make this pot holder. And then I put the pins in my quilt sandwich. And you just get the smaller size pins and you have to make sure that it goes through all the layers. I use, instead of the insole bright, what I use is three layers of cotton batting. And then on the back, this is the print I use for the back because this is my favorite print. So when I'm making my quilted items, usually what I do is just put my favorite print on the back for the backing fabric. So this is my favorite print in my um, pot holder. So this is what I used. And it's gotten hundreds and hundreds of views on the short uh, feed. So I know it was a good pick. What do you think? This is the backing fabric, y'all. And see, I put the little pin. Well, that's not the top. I put a little pin. Where's my pin? Oh my goodness, I had it. I put, there's my little pin. So that's why I, when I cut my square, I put a pin at the top. So this is the top. So this is how it's supposed to look correct for the correct look, meaning the um, selvages and the cross rise grain in the proper spot. So this is the silver side of the long grain, or this is the cross rise grain. So that's my cut. That's my pin to let me know. Okay, so I flip it over so that y'all can see the pinwheel correctly in the right position. So this is the pinwheel in the right position on my quilt sandwich so again this is my quilt sandwich i use pins to base my sandwich i use three layers of um cotton batting uh some people one of these layers would have been insole bar but i don't use insole bar i just use cotton batting and um yeah this is it this is my quilt sandwich for my upcoming pot holder it's really cute yeah so i have to finalize how i want to actually quilt it okay so i'm in, on the fence about that but this is my quilt sandwich that's the top because a quilt sandwich has three layers. So this is the top part which you piece. This is the batting. If it was a regular quilt, it would just be one layer. But since it's a pot, it has three layers. Okay, then you have the backing fabric, which for the most part is not pieced unless what you're quilting is so big that it has to be pieced. So for this little pot holder, it doesn't have to be pieced. So here's the backing fabric. And there's my pen. So what I do is cut out my piece. First I piece my top. For a pen, it's very important that my seam line up in the middle. So what I do is just nest these two seams together and flip it over. And I pin from the center this way and then from the center this way. So that's very important. Like, I, you know, I understand if it doesn't um, line up, but I want my goal is for it to line up. And if it doesn't line up, it just doesn't. I'm just quitting going about my business and, and, and put the binding strip on. I'm just going about my business. But I really, the goal is for it to line up. Now, just, <laughs> just be honest. And so that is the seam lining up perfectly. So, yeah. And then what I do... Well, this video is about the sandwich, so maybe I'll say all the rest when I finish and get the binding on. So, yeah, there's the three layers of binding, of um, cotton bedding again. 
Okay, which for the most part, the three layers are enough. Now, if you want to add an additional layer, I mean, you can if it'll fit up under your uh, presser foot on your walking foot. Technically, you can put four in there this, if, if it's that high up, you know, away from the throat plate. Okay, so there, here's my quilt sandwich for my upcoming patchwork pot holder. Okay. All right, y'all check it out. In the pants, that's the size you use for your quilt. It's not supposed to be that big old pin because the goal is to not put too big of a hole like it's the smallest hole possible so just the big the pin just needs to be big enough for for to go through all the layers of the quilt sandwich um and if it's bunched up in here that means you have too much inside that pin you have to you just want it to barely hit the bottom and then you bring it up and you know close it up and there you go see it's not bunched up See, not bunched up. Not bunched up. Not bunched up. See, check it out. Don't put too much in there. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, it's supposed to lay flat. And there's the back again, my favorite print. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm almost to 1K. Thanks, everybody. Check you later. Subscribe. Bye-bye. Subscribe. There you go. Check you later.